In preparation for the forthcoming general elections, officials of the Lagos State Ministry of Education and stakeholders in the state's education sector met to review the Lagos State Schools calendar. At the forum, stakeholders raised some of the issues that arose as a result of the general elections timetable and how it affects the school calendar. We just concluded that 14th and 15th of February will be half term, then 28th of February and 1st of March will be the second half term. So this is going to be a peculiar time. So it would be nice for everybody to make sure they cascade it down really well. It is very important that children are kept very safe between 14th and 15th with their mothers. Because what we don't want is for any child to be stranded on the street. What we don't want is for any parent to start with me. What we don't want is for people to be agitated about it. So we want all our children to please feel safe wherever they are. So it's very, very important. Suggestions were welcomed and the necessary adjustments made to accommodate the changes that may occur during the elections. The reviewing of the Lagos State Schools calendar is a proactive step taken by the Lagos State government in ensuring that educational activities in the state are not disrupted. The presidential and national assembly elections are expected to hold on the 16th of February, while the governorship and state house of assembly elections will take place on the 2nd of March.